Hey guys, Cow here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be the Rush series, where we're just going to Town Hall 16 as fast as possible, currently 23 weeks in. The Town Hall is almost upgraded, so we will be Town Hall 15 by next video, uh, which is pretty exciting, but uh, it does mean that we're probably going to continue to get harder and harder wars, but us being Town Hall 15 will probably make it so that we can uh, at least compete offensively with mismatches, more so than we currently can now. So we're just moving on to the Town Hall 15 here. And for today's video, we're going to be doing some goblin farming. It is the rumble jumble event. This one, the rubble rumble event. It looks like the progress is going pretty good. And if you want to contribute a lot more, this is definitely the attack strategy you should be doing. We did a video on it before where we got 13 town halls in one sitting. So hopefully we can get even more than that. But that was on town hall 16 where we had um, more troop space. So more troop space does mean that you get to hit more bases. So we're going to do some farming here. Not much to say when it comes to how we're upgrading we're pretty much just upgrading collectors uh right now as it doesn't really matter what we upgrade we can be pretty strategic about it but we have upgraded all the very important things we could upgrade the workshop but it isn't super the end of the world here we have our blacksmith already maxed out uh and we're only using these wall wreckers so upgrading the workshop doesn't really do anything for us here uh, we have a maxed out lab, we could upgrade our barracks, um, but because we're so rushed, we don't really need these other troops here. We already have the main troops we have, which are the dragons, I believe. Dragons? Yeah. Uh, the dragons allow us to boost the super dragons, the super dragons are a really nice attack strategy here at Town Hall 14. We'll see how good they are at Town Hall 15, and if we need to really consider... A new attack strategy for that town hall but um i believe our spell factory is also um maxed in the sense of spell capacity so that is also uh very good for us so but let's get right into it the nikki goblins can take quite uh a while sometimes so let's not waste too much time here the sneaky goblin army composition is all sneaky goblins and all jump spells where we bring invisibility spells in the CC. And pretty much all that we are doing is sniping out the town hall. This is also really good for rumble event. But um, we do this even if it isn't the rumble event. As every town hall we snipe will give us a little bonus. Especially if we sniped out a few things on the outside. And uh, yeah. This is going to be what we, <laughs> the pretty standard thing we do here. So let's just get right into it. We're going to be sniping out town halls. The higher the league you are, the more bonus you get. So we try our best to be in as high league as possible. But let's see here. We're going to skip on that one really quick. But I wonder how many of you are doing uh, on your rumble progress how many town halls you taken down uh i'm really excited that <laughs> the past few events have been really good for the way i farm as as you can see here the primary way i farm is through sniping town halls with the sneaky goblins getting in a bunch of attacks so being uh, extra rewarded for what i do to kind of get this type of farming strategy out there i'm all for it uh, it does take a little bit of time, but definitely I believe it is the most, uh, I won't say the most efficient, but it is uh, probably the most consistent, and uh, I think it's quite fun, so we're going to keep on chugging here, because it's very simple, you just snipe out the town hall. There is a little bit of things that I'll talk about about the video if it comes up, as uh, there are a few tips if this is your first time here welcome uh but a few tips 
or you don't go for town halls with uh you don't go for the town hall if there is a storage nearby as testing for traps becomes a little bit more difficult in that situation um and just be by attacking so many times you're definitely going to be hitting some dead bases here and there um but of course the higher up you go in the town hall uh in the trophy range the 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 less likely you are to find dead bases but that's just a a part of the the journey you know you'll definitely be able to find a lot of dead bases depending on where you start off your um attacks or the league that you start off in here we're going to be skipping this dark uh this gold um and trying to go straight for that town hall but before we can do that we want to test for traps and here we go, and I'm going to make this invisible, go straight for this town hall, and hopefully that will go down. And this is why we bring invisibility spells in the CC. Sometimes you use them, sometimes you don't. Uh, if you find yourself having a lot of jumps left over, which we tend to do, uh, cooking up some invisibility spells will save you on the... Um, on the raid medals here, so... Definitely, it's completely up to you. I don't really spend my raid medals on this account, so we have a lot of extra raid medals. So that is why I like using it in the CC here. So here we're going to go and try to push our way into or past this first layer. Oh, we're going to be... I don't know if we'll make it. Yeah, we didn't quite make it there, so <laughs> a little bit of a mess up there, but... We're going to come in here, take this one out, and uh, this is another reason why we have invisibility spells, because we want to trigger this invisibility spell tower. You can bypass the invisibility spell tower by, um, by just dropping a lot of sneaky goblins. Um, however, if you do fail, then you're kind of left with a lot of sneaky goblins there, and, uh, you only have one warden ability, so it can, it can ruin that attack and make it almost impossible for you to get that town hall again, and, uh, you really don't want to be wasting your, um, your warden as it's very important for getting more town halls in the future. So here we do find a dead base, which is great. And now I'm debating whether or not it's worth it going for this town hall. I'm actually going to skip out on this one. Um, this one, I'm just going to take the loot and leave, um, which is definitely very valid. It is something that people do with their sneaky goblins all the time. Um, but if you do that too many times, of course, you'll be dropping lower in the town. Uh, lower in the trophies, which means that you'll get less loot overall through your, like, bonuses, and uh, because I value the bonus a lot higher, it makes it so that um, I'll have to eventually re-push back up, and I just don't like re-pushing. I find it a little bit annoying because now you're spending all this time that you used to have or that you would have farming into pushing and you're not getting as much loot as you were when you were high rolling. So it is uh, something to consider if you do like uh, if you do like hitting those dead bases and you don't care too much about trophies. Just be aware that sometimes that means that you'll be losing, you'll have droughts sometimes. That sometimes you won't find the dead base or sometimes you just will need to spend your time pushing instead of farming, so. But we talk about this pretty much every video, so. It is, uh, what it is. I guess I haven't really been asking y'all what you're, you've been up to lately. Um, it makes me happy to see the repeat viewers, but we also get so many new, uh, people in our chat every now and then talking. We've been getting a little bit, uh, a few haters, but that's kind of just what happens when uh, you put out uh, content. So it isn't really affecting me too much here. And uh, we're just going to keep on 
pushing here. So, once we hit Town Hall 16, I think we might do a fun little fix that rush series. Um, but we also might do another rush series instead. Definitely let me know uh, if that's something you all will be interested in. As uh, the push series or the rushing series has been a lot of fun and I do enjoy doing it. Um, but because as many of you know, or maybe not many of you, um, as a lot of you are new viewers rather than repeat viewers, uh, this is a three part series where we're doing the three main ways of uh, playing Clash of Clans. And because of that, uh, I've been spreading my attention quite thin throughout the three series as well as my main. And also, uh, if you're in the clan, you know that we I have a lot of accounts just uh, helping us out in war as well. So, I'm spread quite thin. Um, and it makes it so that if I want to put... It makes it so it's hard to put the same amount of attention into all the accounts. However, if after Town Hall 16, um, we like just pushing then uh or we like rushing maybe we can just have uh a rush series always going on in the background and then i can just put all my efforts into that one um so that we can have uh i guess better progress or more reasonable expectations of how fast the account should be going as i know in uh, the strategic rush series specifically uh, we are moving a little bit slower than we would be if that was the only account that we were working on. So, But we're going to keep on going with all the series. They're all doing quite well. Um, and the strategic, the strategic Rush series is definitely uh, still going well here. We're, um, we're putting down all those heroes and really making sure that uh, they're being efficient here. So... Um, it just means that sometimes we will have less progress and sometimes we'll have more progress. But all the people that have been around since the beginning already know that. So we're going to be finishing up here. We're just trying to find one more base here. Uh, there was a few bases that I was considering hitting. However, we only have 24 goblins left. So I'm going to try hitting something like this where I know that I will get that town hall here. So oh, it looks like we triggered one town hall here or one invisibility spell so we're going to trigger the other one here and then we'll just go straight into it i'm going to drop all my heroes as the heroes will make it so that we get some more percent here and the more percent the more bonus loot and because this is our final attack here i'm just going to spread out these goblins here get as much percent as possible our heroes are only level 1, so they don't really do much, but every little bit counts. We get to 20%, which, if we were in Titan, was the golden number. But uh, we're not in Titan, so we're just going to kind of let this one go uh, <laughs> here. I think the Warden does less damage than the, <laughs> the healing of that that guy there, so uh, there's no hope that we'll get that, town, uh, that Inferno Tower down. So, but that's going to be it for today's video. This Sneaky Goblin farming strategy is definitely a lot of fun. I don't really track how much we get, but we're mostly trying to push into Titan. We <laughs> recently got demoted because we haven't been playing that much. But let's just see how many Town Halls we got here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So uh, 10 seems to be the, uh, the number that we usually get. It's very rare that we get more than 10, and it's pretty unlikely that we get less than 10 it seems like that is just the way we roll here and that's why we have 10 jump spells uh cooked here so that's gonna be it for today's video if you do get 10 oh i forgot to say the clickbait thing that means we got five times more progression on the rumble the rubble rumble as a normal person as the normal person will go out and hit two town halls as they have two armies and uh, this means that you're five times more efficient 
at the Rubble Rumble event. So <laughs> that's going to be it for today's video. We are just going to keep on upgrading whatever. This is a rush series, so we only really need to upgrade the sneaky goblins, the wall breakers, and the jump spells. Oh, and the invisibility spells. And after that, it literally doesn't matter. We put our efforts into the dragon so that we could boost them. Um, but yeah, the we're probably going to be putting our efforts into yetis maybe next. We're just going to figure out some sort of spam strategy that we can use for war. Uh, that will be efficient, and we're just going to upgrade that alongside our Sneaky Goblins and Super Wall Breakers. So, hopefully you all did enjoy the video, and I hope you're all excited for Town Hall 15 in the next video. Thank you, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.